Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying radicals. And as you can see, the examples here are composed of two given expressions with radicals in which both of them are binomials. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So for this video, I will give you two examples on how to multiply rad expressions with radicals. And these examples are both binomials. So basically, ano yung mga kailangan mong skill dito before you dive into this topic? Dapat, you already know how to use FOIL method since the two examples are both binomials and also, kung merong pattern na pwede tayo magamit like difference or sum in difference of two squares, pwede yun. Okay? So let's start with item number one. In number one, we are given here 5 plus the square root of 2 times 6 plus the square root of 2. So, dito, wala tayong given pattern na pwede magamit in algebra for us to easily multiply these two expressions with radicals. So, ang pinaka avenue natin dito or pinaka remedy natin dito is to use the FOIL method. So, again, pag sinabi natin yung FOIL method, yung F natin sa FOIL is first terms, yung O I outer terms, your I is inner terms, and the letter L is for the last terms. For the first terms, you will multiply 5 and 6. So we have 5, 5 times 6, and that is 30. Next, we have the outer terms, that is 5 and square root of 2. Let us multiply 5 and square root of 2, that is plus 5 square root of 2. And by the way guys, if you want to have more or to learn more how to multiply radicals one by one, meron tayong video dito na pwede nyo panoorin. Okay? And I will put the link of our first video about multiplying radicals in the description box. Next natin is this. We will multiply the inner terms, square root of 2 and 6. And that is plus 6 square root of 2. And lastly, for the last terms, that is square root of 2 times the square root of 2. And that would be plus the square root of 4. And what we need to do here, after doing the FOIL method, we need to combine like terms and as well as simplify the square root of 4. Okay? So dito, we have 30. Well, pa tayo combine sa 30 kasi well, hindi pa tayo tapos. We have 30 plus, itong dalawang to can be simplified. Parang ano lang siya, uh, you can treat this, this two, uh, these two terms as 5x and 6x. Di ba kapag in natin itong dalawang to, it will give you 11x. Dito, the answer here is plus 11 square root of 2. Next. The last term, which is the square root of 4. Square root of 4 can be simplified as 2. Kasi perfect square yan, guys. And now, given this expression, or this three terms, we have 30 plus, square, plus 11 square root of 2 plus 2. We know that we can add 30 and 2, in which it will give us 32. And then this one is plus 11 square root of 2. So, we can give you, or I can say that this is our final answer for item number 1. So we have 32 plus 11 square root of 2 as the product of 5 plus square root of 2 times 6 plus square root of 2. Okay? Now let's move on with the next example. In our next example, we have 3 square root of 6 minus 6 times 3 square root of 6 plus 6. Ngayon, when you notice nyo, the first terms are the same, the last terms are the same, and the difference na nila ay yung operations between the two terms. Meron tayong pattern sa algebra, sa difference of two squares, na ito. Ah. If we have a square minus b square, we can factor this as a plus b times a minus b, or pwede rin naman, Mauna yung may negative sign or subtraction sign. A minus B times 
a plus b. Wherein, eto siya, yung factor sa to, at kapag minultiply natin itong dalawang to, it will give us a squared plus b squared. So, sir, para siya nag-work? Don't get me wrong. Since these two expressions, or these two factors are both binomial, we can use FOIL method. But this one is easier compared, or easier and faster compared to using FOIL method. Kasi parehas din yung lalabas. Follow natin. First, ito yung A mo. This is your B. This is your A. And this is your B. Ang gagawin mo lang, get the first term, 3 square root of 6. 3 square root of 6. And then square it. Square lang natin siya. Yan. Then, minus your B which is 6. Then square mo rin ito. Okay? So again sir, paano nangyari yun? This is your A, di ba? A, 3 square root of 6, and then square minus your B which is 6, square mo lang siya. Then simplify. So how do we simplify this? Ang ginagawa dito, ito, ito sa inyo ah. We are, we are distributing this ano, exponent. Dito, yung exponent na 2, magamit natin siya dito, magiging square to. But dinistribute natin yan dito. And then, dito naman, sa square root of 6, makakansel lang ta. So, what will happen is that it will become this one. 3 square is 9. Okay? Then, since nakansel natin yung 6, a radical sign sa 6, sa square root of 6, it will become times... 6. So again, madidistribute yung exponent ha. Hindi lang sa square root of 6. 3 square. And then yung square root of 6 square natin, makakancel lang siya. So that is 9 times 6. Minus the 6 square, which is 36. Then multiply these numbers. We have 9 times 6, which is 54 minus 36. So as you can see, all we need to do is to subtract these numbers, 54 minus 36 is simply equal to 18. And this is now the final answer for item number 2. This is the product between 3 square root of 6 minus 6 and 3 square root of 6 plus 6. So this is the answer guys. Now, I hope you learned something from this video on how to multiply two binomials that includes radicals. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!